Hey everybody, Corey Perutu here to talk about the cost estimator within IBM Cloud. So first, you can see that we're in our catalog, and if we scroll to the upper right hand side, you'll see that we have the cost estimator tool. Next, let's go ahead and click on virtual server, and then we'll add that to the list of products that we want to estimate. So you can see here, we're going to click on public, and then we're going to click on hourly billing and the North America South location, and then we'll click on a specific image such as the CentOS. We can add that to our estimate. Note that then we'll be keeping track of multiple products uh, to, our, to our cost. So you can see our one-time cost here is $1.51. If, if we choose a private instance or we choose um, more quantity, we'll have a higher cost, but for now, um, it's only $1.51. Next, we'll click a monthly usage as well. So we'll say that we want to rent this instance for a full month. So we'll add that to the estimate as well now. Next, let's go back to the catalog and we'll go ahead and look for a Kubernetes service. So let's click on Kubernetes. And now we can go ahead and either choose Kubernetes or OpenShift. We'll leave it as Kubernetes and we can leave our infrastructure as classic. And then we can choose our uh, geography. So we'll leave it as North America and multi-zone. Here you can see that we have worker nodes in Dallas 10, 12, and 13 data centers. For now, we'll just choose 13 and we'll choose one worker node per data center. And you can see here we have four vCPUs, 16 gigabytes of memory, and more. We'll add this to the estimate now. You can see this Kubernetes cluster will be around $211 per month. Next, let's go back to the catalog and we'll add one more thing to the estimate. So you can see we can keep track of multiple products. So now we'll go ahead into the Cloudant database. Let's click on cloud it and here we can see we can have a multi-tenant or a dedicated environment we'll leave multi-tenant since it is a little bit cheaper um, now we can see more details about the capacity of our database so we have 100 reads per second um, and 20 gigabytes of storage here we have a slider to see how many blocks of capacity we want the more blocks the more it's going to cost per month and same with the gigabytes of storage if we want more storage um, we can increase that up to 500 gigs um, and that'll increase our monthly usage Let's add that to the estimate as well. Um, now that we have these estimates and that it looks good, let's click on calculate cost. We can see it's $86 per month and we'll click on save. Now let's go ahead and review our estimate. So we have a couple of public instances, we have a Kubernetes cluster and we have a clouded databases service. And now let's go ahead and make sure all the details are correct so we can expand each product. Um, so we see that we have four, two vCPUs, four gigabytes of RAM, that looks good. And we're in the Dallas 13 data center, that looks good. Our Kubernetes cluster is about $200 a month, that looks good as well. And we're ready to download. So now we can export our cost estimate and send it to anybody across the team. Or we can send it to finance as well. So you can see our cost per month is around $300 $39 and our one-time cost is $1.51 and we have all the different features and specifications for each product. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.